American Hales with some of that metal. This time we go all the way to Oakland, California, and let's take a look at this band called Ulfar. So this is the second album by this um, American extreme metal name, Ulfar, called Providence, and the style here is sort of a death black metal. Mostly the focus is on the death metal side, but really it can't be argued that there are some black metal elements which are very much a key element here as well. Very interesting cover of which the zoom, zoom is not ready to show, maybe it's too brutal for your eyes, but here it goes nevertheless with this three-man band. Um, this is already out um, earlier in June, so a little bit late here in review, but not too old to not to make this one relevant. So here you have this very simple uh, CD inlay disc and whatnot. Let's take a look at the band's Metal Archive site. As you can see, this band has been founded in 2014, has three members, as you can pretty much figure out from this image. Not two young guys anymore, at least one of them. And um, here's the lineup information. You can see all these guys are more or less experienced in various bands, so not really newcomers. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, discography, you will find two albums and one demo, and this is the latest one, having 36 minutes of an album. And um, here you can see more full resolution image of this cover of death and all kind of interesting details, some demonic features, skulls, bones, rotting parts, and sort of an organ you might feel a little bit weird about. I kind of like this kind of old school uh, cover, which reminds me of very much of 1990s style of uh, death metal covers. But like it says already here on the metal art site for the band's main page, it's labeled as black death metal. And at first I was a little bit confused, like, okay, this sounds all the way through, so just more like fast tempo, modern death metal with a little bit of technical gimmicks and all that stuff. And I was like, there's not really black metal here but with a closer eye and paying more attention to the details it started to kind of uh, unfold and yeah there are black metal elements but not probably in the way you are supposed to uh, expect that is if you're if your black death metal combos uh, remind you of bands such as behemoth and uh, some other bands which are more clear with the union of black and death metal this is a little bit different the angle is more i wouldn't say maybe technical but it's more complex and as such, it might be feeling that this is just some weird-ass puncher wagons rolling towards you with this kind of a death metal heady sound and feeling, which is like, okay, there's nothing black exactly here. But once you have those kind of a screamy parts, some of the riffs, and maybe even the production to some level, uh, it starts to shape up. So it's definitely an abomination, a sort of a extreme metal hybrid, which is like Cthulhu and horror with its antennas, tentacles and weird potty parts and organs you're not ready to know what they are and you don't probably want to know you're running away from them as if this was some resident evil monster and um, now this monstrosity is in fact more interesting that i'm trying to describe here but it's also rather complicated to get into because this is not appealing to you with its kind of a simple riffs nor it's not the most technical album of the year here. So it's more like a, a little bit of a balanced hybrid between these different two styles. And as such, I don't think this will appeal to most black metal heads there. But also it has this problem of appealing to traditional death metal heads because once again, once you include certain kind of elements from other parts of other genres, it becomes complicated. Whether you want to go with your camo pants and just go full blown gore death metal, or you want to go with your corpse paints on and inverted crosses in full black to a black metal style, this will fall between those styles. If you're like me, however, that you like best of both worlds, you might be able to enjoy this because this is interesting. But however, I still feel that the lack of very cool songwriting is the problem here. While this album is filled with interesting details and these guys definitely have something interesting going on, I don't find this album too captivating and I feel like I'm letting down the whole genre because this is supposed to be right up my alley and I'm a little bit confused why I'm not liking this as much as I should be. So maybe it's the problem is with me and maybe you will be like praising like these some of the guys like this is the 90% band and I guess I kind of hope I would be there right with you but for me it's a little bit of a lukewarm feeling. I mean better than lukewarm, better than mediocre one. 
but not getting me by the balls, crushing me and making me go all about how great this album is. So I'd say this is a decent one. It's an interesting one from an interesting band, but not grasping me fully. Something is missing, but that's just maybe me. I don't know. You'll take a look. I, I think this band is very much uh, shaping up to be a really good one at some point, but this is not the album that is taking me on tour to hell with it. Never, nevertheless, give it a look. Here it is, Othar with Providence. And um, let me know what you like it when you have heard it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.